today is Meet the Teacher. Good morning. It is the second week back to work, but it's just for teachers. And I am still like in my bed right now. I snoozed so many times this morning. Uh, one of my coworkers called me this morning laughing because she knew that I wasn't on my way to work because she knows me. My coworkers always joke about how you know, I used to be like the first one at work at like six o'clock in the morning and I was always so excited for like professional days and all that stuff. And now four years later, I'm just like, just let me teach. I have to present today. So this summer, I told y'all that like I met up with some other ladies along with my principal and we went to like a conference together and then we just been meeting up throughout the summer to discuss how to improve our school and so today I'm going to present so if I can get someone to record me then I will record my part it's gonna be a day don't know what kind of day it's gonna be hopefully a marvelous Monday oh I'm not very confident in that though I'm trying to see if I can do it with the with these glasses on the camera. So going back to last year, it seemed like the consensus around the school was that vertical team planning needed to be extended or demonstrated better as a, a whole school and so that's why we had that CTE and this is kind of how it was based from. So we have our full math science group that met last year together when we broke off and then we have the full language arts and, and reading one that broke off but then in those different content groups there's little pods and so that's where the six tribes came from. So this is just like a safe place where we can all collaborate, have those vertical team meetings, and then come back together as a larger group and make sure that we all really understand um, what we want to do as a team. This part right here, I need like excitement because we worked hard to get what I'm about to tell you. Come on, come on. We have t-shirt and jeans day. So we have two jeans days. For, I mean, that's like, come on, don't ever have yeah. It is 6.20 and I am ready to go home. I did get my personal area done over here. This Inspire sign that's up here was given to me by a student a couple years ago. And then here are some notes that were given to me by my principal. And then here are a couple pictures of me and some other coworkers. Here are some pictures of my family down here, my toolbox, all that is still the same. Over here I've added some other things from students. These are my sentence starters right here. These are my place value elephants. We only go to, I think, 1,200 in second grade, but I want them to see that we go farther than that. Then these are the classroom rules that my niece got me when I graduated from college. I put my calendar up here, and then I have put just some painter's tape right here because I'm going to glue paper right here on all of these cabinets so that I can use it for my interactive word walls. I did outline my green screen over here so it looks much better and I was able to get three tables cleared so the only thing that's over here are school supplies. One of my students already bought school supplies so and this one's clear and this one's clear and this one is pretty clear. I just have to take this home because I brought spaghetti for my co-workers today. And this table is where my catch-all is, so I'll get that together. This one doesn't really have much. Once I fill this up, then I'll get, I can put it over on my bookshelf. And then these boxes over here are going to house my student school supplies when they come in this week. 
I'm sitting here cutting out all of these things to be laminated tomorrow. I'm using scrapbook paper just to give it a hard, a harder backing before it's laminated. I have my little daily routine things and the reason why I have so many math and science things, even though I only teach two classes, is because my classes are split up. I have this crazy schedule where it's like I teach half a class and then we go to the lunch and then I come back and teach the other half and then we switch and all this stuff. So, um, and also in second grade, we do clocks, we do time. I'll just put the start time on here and the end time right here so that they can see time both ways. Um, I did go ahead and make these labels larger and then these are going to be for meet the teacher and I'm going to just put these on some boxes that I already have in my room so that the parents can drop their items in there and separate them for me. I did get this off Teacher Pay Teachers and I just edited it. It was a free little booklet and so I did go ahead and make it my own and so I just have to put those in for copies on colored paper. This is my classroom helpers chart and I feel like I need to redo some of them because I don't think I will be using all of the jobs but I haven't gotten to that yet. And this is going to be a pocket chart that I create using some transparencies in this poster board. The only problem is that I cannot remember if I measured it. <laughs> I can't remember if this was the correct width or if this is the correct width. So I need to take this back up to work tomorrow. Um, a couple of weeks ago, it seems like longer than that, but I About think it was three. a couple of weeks yeah. ago, I was contacted by one of my wonderful former parents that I've worked closely with for many years. So these are all of our school supplies that wow. they just delivered. Wow. All right, y'all, today has been tiring. So today's been pretty busy and hectic. Um, I'm finally done with all the paperwork that I needed to get done. I had to look through folders and learn about students, and so now I'm about to make phone calls to their parents. So I sent the letters out earlier this week, and now I'm gonna call them and say hi. Good morning. It's a little darker outside today because I'm earlier than I have been this year. So I'm heading to McDonald's right now to get some breakfast and then I have to do a couple of things because today is Meet the Teacher. So my room is not together. It's okay, it's getting there. But yesterday I just kind of had to stop being the perfectionist that I am. My room was a complete mess. I haven't recorded in my room my progress. I don't think all this week, just because I was doing paperwork, we've been in meetings the whole day basically, so we haven't had much time in our rooms. I don't know why I had all that stuff in there, but people kept trying to give me things and I think that's why, because people always wanna give me things and then I'm just like, in my mind, okay, I can use this for something else, I can upcycle, I can, do all this and then I never do it. And so to kept trying to give me stuff, I was like, nope, thank you, but no, no. Because you know what you're doing? You're trying to get rid of your junk and put it on me and that is not right. So I was turning down stuff left and right because I have my own stuff. I do keep getting compliments on my room because it's really pink. Everyone's like, I love that you have all this pink. Like pink is my color and my room is Kind of one of the first rooms you see depending on which hallway you come into the school at and so a lot of people walk past my room to get to their rooms and all they see is pink and then they want to come in i'm really happy to have my curly hair back today i had it straight for a while and then i had a buns for a while and so it feels amazing i tried some new products so you will be able to see that video up 
don't know if it'll be up before this one or not but in addition to my meet the teacher they also moved MJ's meet the teacher to today so I have to head over to his school before I have mine the time today was changed just because the storm is supposed to hit tomorrow just just in case the storm hits they didn't want to have to like cancel it or whatever I just realized before I went into McDonald's that I don't have my phone. So I don't know where I left it. I normally put it in my purse, but it wasn't there. So maybe I left it. I didn't use it at all this morning. So that's probably why I don't know where it is. But I don't have my phone. So y'all can't call me this morning. Sorry. Hello. I am headed to MJ's Meet the Teacher. I'm sure I have like 500 calls just because I don't have my phone with me, but if I didn't have my phone, nobody would be calling me. But since I don't have it, everybody's calling me. My day's been going okay. I am not ready for Meet the Teacher yet. Um, it is happening in about two and a half hours. I still have a couple things to do to, to get my room ready, but the bulk of it is ready. Like if they came, I would be okay, but I still, need to sort through the papers and put them in the correct student envelopes and all of that stuff so I can do it but um, I wish I would have been able to already have gotten it done but you know that's not how life works so I'm in a good place at least my room is more put together than it has been for the last few days kind of think about what my child looks like I didn't pick him out any clothes so hopefully that went well so this morning the fire department had to come out to my school because one of the custodians saw smoke and like smelled a funny smell and it was kind of funny because like the, the fire alarm was going off very loud because you know if you know anything about fire alarms at school they are obnoxiously loud so it was going off and like you know as teachers are just in the rooms working because you know no students are there so we wouldn't be having like a fire drill right now so we were just kind of ignoring it and continuing with our work and so then one of the administrators started you know coming down the hallways you know yelling get out get out this is not a fire drill like get out this is real so we're like oh really the one time I'm early because I have been late this whole week or like right there on time this whole week the one day I get there early we have to evacuate the building so I didn't grab my keys because I just thought we were gonna be in and out and like you know I'm like you know it's a not a drill so it's like oh my goodness get out of the school right away so I didn't think to grab anything I didn't grab my purse or anything so my keys were still in the building so I tried I was about to go back in and you know because they they had already said what it was like they said what part of the building it was at what was going on so we were just waiting for the fire department to get there and somebody was like really you're going back into a burning building and I'm like um my room is like way over there it's not a burning building I was really gonna get my keys and go home everybody was like eh, no you can't go back in there so I couldn't go back in there so I just stayed outside in the heat and I'm glad I didn't flat iron my hair because my hair would have been just destroyed if I because I mean we were outside for a good 40 45 minutes so I'm like really there goes my early morning that I decided to get here and get stuff done so that set me back <sighs> so I'm done my husband was already at the school which was great because he filled out all the necessary paperwork so I came in at the very end of it and so I got to meet his teacher we talked for a little bit then we went to meet the new music teacher and to get everything taken care of it was really an interesting experience because as we were walking down the hallways and things different teachers kept stopping and they knew MJ's name and they you know were saying that they were happy that he was there and some teachers like one teacher was like you have an amazing son I just want you to know that and I mean like they kept it, it's it's amazing because I know that he's made an impact on a lot of adults lives because you know there are just certain kids in the school that everyone knows and there are other children who you know they don't really get noticed 
it makes me know that we're doing something right like he is able to hold his own at school and all of that so it makes me really happy our neighborhood got rezoned so really MJ was supposed to go to another school this school specifically said that they only wanted people who lived in the neighborhoods to go to the schools because I am a teacher in the district they let me pick and say that he got to go there I really like the school and I went to a lot of different schools growing up and so I didn't want him to have to deal with that. So I'm happy that I get to keep him there. Most teachers have already gone. It's about seven o'clock at night and tomorrow, actually tonight that storm is supposed to start. So a lot of people have left. I didn't get a chance to say hi before Meet the Teacher started, but it was a success. I think I had 100% of my students come and I got some gifts from the students and their parents. and. It's a wonderful group of students. So I just wanna show y'all how my room looks right now. This is my room after Meet the Teacher. I had 100% attend, so I'm really excited. My desk is a mess as always, and one parent even gave me this right here, personalized sanitizer, which is so cute. I had a parent who come in and ask if I needed help and so she went through and took all the sanitizers out, the papers and things like that, tissues over here. Not all my students brought supplies today. They told me they were gonna bring some on Monday. This right here was my little sign and I had popcorn. So these are the supplies. This for parents to sign up. Here's my book that I gave to each family. I finally got my stuff set up over here. So I'll do a whole tour soon for y'all, but I just wanted to show it to y'all because I didn't get a chance to do it. So I have signs out around the room. I didn't get all my signs up, but it worked out fine. Busy, busy night. I'm tired and it is seven o'clock, 7.10. in my driveway I just made it home and I just wanted to just share today was pretty amazing I don't think I've ever felt so much love from parents and students as I did today I'm not sure if it was you know just a good vibe I feel like me writing the letter was really really good I know I'm going to do that from this point on because there were so many students who were so excited that they read my letter by themselves some of them said they started reading it and then their parents helped them finish it and then some said they listened to me read it to them and there was just so much love I think only one student didn't come and that student I'm not really sure if he's going to even be in my class there was some talk about he might be leaving so I feel like I had 100% of my students attend tonight and their parents were like so helpful. I had one parent to come in and she just, I mean, attacked my school supplies and put them in the boxes that I wanted them in. So she's going to be a big help. It was just so nice. I had my, uh, you know, former students to come and say hi. I even had one parent who she said her daughter was looking for me through the school and she told me that I was her teacher last year. She told me that she wanted her brother to be in my class, but of course I moved to second. So many different students that I've already connected with that were in first grade last year and they, their parents told me that they were so happy when they got my letter and when they found out who their teacher was. And I, I am tired. I did bring some things home with me just because, you know, there's been some talk of us not going into work tomorrow but that's not confirmed yet so I feel like we're going to be there but I just brought it home just in case because if we're not there tomorrow then the next time we will be there students are going to be in the classroom so there are some teachers who decided to stay there tonight and get everything situated so that when they come in whenever we come in the next time um, they'll be ready for the students I said I wanted to come home and the students can just help me to clean up whatever mess um, is there. So if you look behind me, that's the line at Walmart and the checkout stand isn't so like over there. So I am going to leave. I just saw two of my coworkers in line at Walmart and I think they're going to end up leaving too because that line, I would have been in there for like an hour. So I quit.
I mean, it's it's really ridiculous. I, I don't understand why Walmart does not like have stands open all the time. I don't know if they're low on staff, but I don't think so because there's always people randomly walking around the store. They know people come in the morning before work and late at night. So I don't understand why they don't have more stands open. It just doesn't make sense. We have to be at work in 40 minutes and that line will easily take 40 minutes to be done. They're not gonna get me. Yesterday it was a fire and today they trying to get me at Walmart. No, no, no. I'm going to work. So for breakfast this morning, I brought one of my Belvita breakfast sandwiches and I also brought some yogurt. So, oh, and I have orange juice too. I don't have coffee and I don't need it today. I feel really good. I took some papers home yesterday because I was thinking that, you know, we weren't really sure if we were going to be at work today. I know like one district, another district has already canceled school today. I mean, they're comparing this hurricane to Allison, which was here and I think I was in 10th, 10th or 11th grade with Allison and I remember how devastated the city was at that time and I think they say it was one of the most costly hurricanes in US history and for them to compare Harvey to Allison you know is making everyone get into this this panic gas stations are already like you know running out of gas and food or grocery stores are already running out of food and I guess that's why so many people are at Walmart they're kind of saying for things to stop around two or three so everybody can get in we're still going to be at work but I think we'll be able to leave earlier today just so that we can you know get home and all that stuff I'm at work now and I'll see it is 135 140 I just left work and I'm a little bummed because I left my room last night not in the best way and then we had a meeting this morning until about 11 o'clock so at that meeting we were told that we had to be out of the building by 1 30 because basically the administration needed to have a meeting and so they were leaving around 2 but we had to be out at 1 30. I wish I would have stayed last night even though I left at like 7 30 last night. I wish I would have stayed last night and did everything that I wanted to do so that I wouldn't be feeling the way I feel right now. So whenever we come back to work, whether that is this coming Monday when school is supposed to start or depending on what happens with Harvey, that might be later on in the week or even the following week, we're not really sure, but it's supposed to rain for like four days straight. We'll see what, what happens with this storm. Whatever happens the next time that I'm in my classroom, my students are going to be in there as well. Just have to make sure that I get to work early the first day. And so then I'll have like about an hour before the students come in and I can get something situated. Like the room looks fine. A whole lot of parents bought supplies last night at Meet the Teacher, which means I got a whole lot of supplies, which I'm so thankful for. But instead of having my parents and students to disperse them like the ones who brought their supplies did last night I was having to do that so I spent a lot of time just sorting through it because with my fourth and fifth graders we do all that kind of thing on the first day of school and we do that together and that takes up some of the time and um, I still left some of it for my students to have to do themselves but I was trying to get it done so that I can really really hit on those procedures because second grade is a really big step up from first grade so many things happen in, in second grade that are different than first like they're big boys and big girls when they get to second grade so I just wanted to make sure that we're not like wasting time I guess like I just go ahead and take care of those other things and so that we can just get right into procedures and things like that on Monday so we will see how much I get done. I did take things home yesterday and then I took more things home today just in case we are stuck in the house, you know, for like a week. I don't wanna feel like I could have done something else. Like, so I took paperwork kind of stuff home. I just realized that I brought my pencil sharpener so that I can sharpen some pencils, but I didn't bring my pencils. 
so I did spend days here and there in my classroom throughout the summer and it just shows how much we have to do and how much time we don't have to get all of it done but I'm not stressed out about it I'm good I'm really excited to be able to have my students in the room and get stuff ready and all of that and just get into the swing of things I'm just gonna end here I really hope everyone is safe during this storm and I will let y'all know when I go back to work so y'all will be there with me and I hope that y'all have a just wonderful weekend everyone is safe you get to love all up on your family and your children thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon bye